Hi guys, it's me again, Lakia. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Blooper, right? Uh, yeah. I'm just coming in. Um, I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna let that stay in. I'm not even gonna do it all over again. So I'm just coming in uh, at you guys with a weekly update. It's been nine days since I last did an update, and I was gonna do it on Thursday, but I don't know what the hell happened on Thursday. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm here today, and um, so I'm just gonna go right on in because you know, guys, I love to talk. Um, so, last week I weighed in at 254 pounds. This week I weigh in at a low number of 253. Yeah, I lost one pound this week, guys. And you know what? I'm not somber. I'm not disappointed. I'm not upset. I'm not hurt. Because truth be told, I didn't work this week. You know when you slack off. Come on, let's be real with each other. Come on, we've been on, you know, we fat, we've been on diets before. So you know when you slack off. I slacked this week. I slacked. I didn't, I didn't work out. And funny is, I knew I was slacking, so I started to work out. And when I started to work out, that's when I saw the number go down the scale. <laughs> so I know I need to be working out all the time. But yeah, I, I slacked off this week. I didn't do any of the things that I know that... I should have been doing to make sure that my numbers were right this week. Um, so one pound loss, I'm 253. But I learned some stuff about myself this week. I think this was a week of discovery for me. Um, I learned some stuff about myself. I learned that, well, first of all, I have to make a confession. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> confession time right I have to make a confession I broke the cardinal rule of post weight loss surgery you want to know what it is all you pre oppers out there don't do it and all you post stoppers I know I screwed up I know you guys are going to say tisk 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 but I broke the cardinal rule I drank and ate at the same time Eating and drinking. And let me explain to you why. I found that if I didn't drink, like when I went to swallow, and I and I chew thoroughly, but I found that I would feel the food sitting, you know, kind of getting a little stuck. I wouldn't say stuck, but just kind of sitting right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I would take a sip just to kind of help it go down. And then I found myself going from one sip to two sip to three sip, and I found myself eating and drinking. And you know what happens when you eat and drink? Basically, that food gets pushed out of your your pouch, like immediately. So ultimately, you become you you you're able to eat more than you're supposed to, or than than you should. And I found that I was able to eat more, and um, I found that I got hungrier faster. These are the reasons why you shouldn't do it two number one rules it washes food out of your pouch you're unable you're you're you don't absorb the nutri nutrients from your food and number three you get hungry faster so don't do it and I found that you know I realized what I done and I posted you know a little question up on Facebook on the weight loss surgery community and I'm like you know blah 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 Guys, I've been eating and drinking. You know, give me some feedback on this. And everybody's like, no, don't do it. Can't do it. So I went back to where I was supposed to be. And I stopped drinking and eating. And giving myself, uh, like, you know, time. Twenty. I started out with 20 minutes. Because, you know, once you start a habit, you have to break it slowly. It's hard to just crash, you know, go cold turkey. So I would drink after 20 minutes and I went to 30 minutes. Now I find myself waiting actually a whole hour. And it's been an hour since I had lunch. So I just thought I'd get a little drinky drink on. <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing horribly with water. I, I gotta admit, I have to I make some confessions. I'm doing really bad with liquids. I don't drink nearly as much liquids as I should and it's I mean it's really bad I because I don't feel hungry and I don't want to drink only thing I can say is like I don't have traditional hunger pains and any pre operas out there you won't I, I heard I heard like for the first six months like you don't 
feel hungry. You really don't feel hungry. I think it's more of a head hunger, if anything, or you just know that you want to eat something. Like you, you get this urge to eat. Like I want to eat. But you, and, you know, with me, it's half the time is I don't know what the hell to eat because I'm so finicky. I'm like a cat. I am the most finickiest eater on earth. I don't want anything. And if I have it today, don't show it to me again for another six months. Like, I don't want to see it tomorrow. I cannot have leftovers. I don't like to eat the same thing every day. It's really hard for me. I don't eat a lot of food, but I have begun to eat now. I, I will eat a solid dinner and I'll eat a solid lunch. Like, them, them two I'm going to eat. Breakfast is probably maybe like a, a cup of yogurt. Typically, I don't even eat breakfast. I'll probably just drink some coffee. I'll put some dry milk in it. You know, it has some protein. I'll put some Benefiber um, in it and, you know, to give me some fiber. But I typically don't eat breakfast because I just don't feel hungry in the morning. It's just probably a bad thing because I should be eating more for breakfast. I'm trying to find things that I like to eat for breakfast. But, you know, one of the things that I'm realizing is that this tool is something that you have to take time to learn how to use. As with anything, you know, repetition is the mother of learning. And you really do have to learn how to use this to, to, to maneuver your new stomach. So one of the things I definitely want to say, bad lesson corrected this week, bad habit corrected this week is eating and drinking. I will not do that ever again. And since I have stopped drinking with my meals, I find that I stay full way longer. Like I don't need... I feel full for like two hours, literally, after I eat. Like two hours after I eat, I'm still feeling full. At, at least an hour and a half after I eat. And, um, you know, I find that it helps me to feel satisfied, to feel full. Um, I don't feel like going in the kitchen and getting something to graze because I'm a grazer. I don't really like to eat meals. I'm a person that just like, go, let me pick this up here and let me nibble on that there. And let me take a bite of that there. I've always been a grazer. And, you know, I found that that habit did not break simply because I had gastric bypass. It, you know, it kind of it worsened it a little bit because since I'm only able to eat small amounts at a time. But actually, I find myself able to eat a, a good portion of food. I think it's a good portion. Of course, it's nowhere near like what I was able to eat. But I would say I, I probably eat about five ounces of food, maybe six ounces of food. Um, I usually stick to about two ounces of meat. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really not like a lot of food, but it's a lot. I think it's a lot of food. Um, last night for dinner, I had turkey burger. My version of a turkey burger was just a fried turkey burger. Well, on the griddle. I put it on the griddle and cook it. And um, I took a half of a medium-sized whole wheat wrap, and I just wrapped the burger in that. That was excellent. Oh, my God, that was so good. I was so full, I could almost hardly finish it. Like, I really, that filled me up. So, that's where it is. So, you know... You, I'm learning as I go, and I'm learning that exercise is imperative. I have to exercise every day. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to see the numbers coming off the scale. Um, not drinking and eating anymore, and you know I feel good. I'm, I'm up on my supplements way better than I was before. I'm doing my vitamins continuously, my iron continuously, which has been a dramatic improvement. On my overall feeling of you know energy I do have a lot of energy but guys I say this all the time and I'm gonna say it again people are really starting to notice my weight loss but for some reason I'm not um, I see it in ways like I see it in the way my clothes fit like my clothes are really starting to fall off me oh and like my measurements I didn't do official measurements before I had surgery because I pretty much knew what my measurements are but like I need to go bra shopping now because my bras are getting too big around the circumference area. I'm a 39 around my bust. My bust is a 39. I haven't been a 30 nothing since I was like five. Okay. I s oh. Oh, that's my mama. It's her birthday today. Hi, mom. Happy birthday.